I'm uh, Dr. Mark Jordan. I'm the uh, Residency Program Director for the Department of Urology at UCI. Most of the time, we are surgeons. We usually see these patients when they're, you know, there's a kidney tumor. Uh, it depends on the size of the tumor. Sometimes these can be observed. I think Dr. Landman will speak to this as well. Sometimes these can be actively observed. Uh, sometimes they can be ablated. Sometimes they, they grow large enough that they have to actually be removed. Um, so it, it really depends on the tissue and the tissue type of the tumor. And usually that has to be uh, found out either by biopsy or by the characteristics when we remove them. As far as renovascular disease, and uh, these are usually uh, treated either first by medical therapy with oral medications to control blood pressure. But again, the treatment depends on the cause. Sometimes narrowing of the renal artery can be so severe that it has to be treated with a stent, just like the, the heart with coronary artery stents. It's, it's a similar idea. So the radiologist can put a stent in the renal artery and open it up and prevent the, the, the high blood pressure from occurring. Because the kidneys, when they have a narrowed renal artery, they produce these chemicals that cause the blood pressure to go up. And that's, that's the most dangerous aspect of having a narrowed renal artery. The other thing that can happen is the kidney function can deteriorate as a result, and you can lose function of that kidney. So by putting a stent to open up that artery, you can keep the kidney perfused and uh, prevent those changes from happening. Ultimately, if a stent doesn't work, and if the medication doesn't work, we may have to operate and actually repair that artery or put a graft over the artery, like a, like a Dacron or, or some, uh, an artificial graft or a vein to keep that artery from narrowing further.